हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज़ द फिफ्थ वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल ऑन इनसाइड द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन पांडास सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट कपल ऑफ मोर प्रॉपर्टीज रिलेटेड टू द डेटा फ्रेम ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ पांडास सो लेट्स बिगिन इट लेट्स फर्स्ट इंपोर्ट द नॉर्मल कन्वेंसन वे ऑफ इम्पोर्टिंग द पांडास फ्रेमवर्क ओके सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली इम्पोर्टेड द pandas now we can refer as in individual function with the help of pin now to show this more property this property will go uh, step by step individual properties uh, before that we need some data so uh, i have one uh, data of titanic passenger so during the titanic sink what are the uh, people's name in individual peoples who has survived its uh, ticket number or sex and related data i have downloaded from the net so let's try to import this uh, file okay so it in the file name is uh, train.csv so we will import it with the read csv function and we will assign inside this df data frame of object so reference will be df from now on and let's try to print some of the couple of record so okay so it has printed uh, with the help of head function of data frame object the five as passenger list so it has a total uh, 12 attributes like uh, passenger id of individual passengers whether it has survived or not its name sex and age of individual passenger the ticket uh, number the fare and the cabin it has uh, taken i mean while sitting inside the titanic so this is the small glimpses of data uh, about the titanic data set now Uh, let's see uh, there are how many total records are available inside this data frame object so we'll use this describe function of on the top of this data frame objects so let's see what it will give us so describe function what it has given us that for individual column it has calculated this property for us like a count what is the mean value of that passenger id what is the standard deviation of individual features what is the minimum value what is the maximum value how much people are coming in the top 25% how much people are coming in top 50% so uh, let's take uh, like uh, any of this fare like so fare is like a has been given for 891 total people's fare is available inside this data set what is the mean value of the fare that is a 32 dollar somewhere what is the standard deviation 49 so just this describe function has calculated this much amount of data instantaneously for us now you can see that there are total 12 columns are there but it has uh, created this statistics for just seven columns because for the sex uh, for the name these are all the string objects and it doesn't make sense so let's try to find that uh, what is the data type of individual columns <coughs> okay so it has shown us like a passenger id has been stored in integer 64 bit integer object survive id integer for 64 bit object sex is like an uh, object object is nothing but the string class inside this python age is a 64 bit uh, float value so in this way individual and data's uh, data type also we can see let's see about some, some more property like uh, info okay so info has given us like a class so df is nothing but the pandas having a core module which is having a sub core module frame and having a data frame class so df is the object of this data frame class it is saying that and it is referencing to data frame class uh, range index so this info function uh, has given us the range index that how many 
total values are there so there are total 891 values or each one is ranging from a 0 to 890 there is a data column so total 12 data columns are there and for individual data column it has shown us that for some of the data columns uh, there is no all values are available for like a age there is uh, only 714 values only available out of 891 entry so remaining are the null objects so individual data types of each column also been referenced it is saying that uh, for out of this 12 object there is a two uh, column which is referencing to the data type float 64 bit 5 for 64 bit integer and uh, remaining 5 is object class which is nothing but the string level class and this whole data set object is occupying 83.6 ki kilobytes of memory while storing inside this RAM so just with the very few commands like a describe or a D types or info uh, function of this data frame object we have got lot of idea about how many what kind of data are there what is the data types how many entries are there for individual column how many are the null values are there how much memory it occupies inside this data set uh, so that's it for this lecture friends i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it